Feeding quail or other kinds of wildlife is a really popular practice. And I, I always ask people, I say, do you think your feeding program's working? And they'll say, well, it, it must be. I said, well, how do you know? And they say, well, they're eating lots of feed. And I say, well, what's eating lots of feed? They say, well, we really don't know. The lamentation, the theme song for anybody that feeds any kind of wildlife is an old Ronnie Millsap tune, What Goes On When the Sun Goes Down. We don't really know who's eating all this, but as good, as ma good managers, we'd like to have a better idea of just who's coming for dinner. There are ways to find out. Technology's on the shelf, and it's pretty inexpensive, really, that allows you to monitor what's going on at a feeder. These types of little game cameras, and boy, have they become popular over the last 10 years. I started dabbling with them 15 years ago when they weren't quite as user-friendly. Today, you can buy different kinds. They might start as for less than $100. For $200, you can get one that does everything in the world you need. They'll take not only still pictures, but they can take little uh, video clips and so forth. And if you've got a one or two gig uh, memory card, you can take three or 400 images. So you don't have to come by and check these every day like we used to with the old film cameras. Really useful technology. What we've seen in some of our studies here at the Research Ranch and other places where we've conducted feeder trials is that they're an all-night buffet for various critters, raccoons especially. Raccoons spend an average of two and a half hours at night robbing you of feed out there. Feral hogs can be a real problem where they're at. Such things as rodents, such things as non-game birds are a big consumer. So if you're trying to feed quail, it's a very inefficient process. It can still be effective. You just got to realize that because of those inefficiencies, it's going to be more expensive. We've seen that quail occur at a rate of about anywhere from 5 to 15 percent of the visits at a quail feeder are by quail. So that again means there's a lot of inefficiencies out there. Okay, we've got our electronic snare set. We're going to find out just what goes on when the sun goes down.